Okay, so this is what who we are. And on that basis, let's try and develop some examples of what works well and what doesn't work well and what can be can can what have we learned from these examples by having at the beginning a few interventions. We have we have basically three people who are going to contribute, but the first one is ha having a, a, a PowerPoint, a Claudio, from the same local action group as we had Yulia before from Romania. Uh, and then, uh, Claudio, if you want, do you want me to share your PowerPoint or you will be able to do that yourself? Uh, I would like I would like to uh, uh, share the PowerPoint. You, If you can uh, do it for me, please, because... I, I can do it. Do. But do you want to show the video first or do you I, want to go to the... Uh, Okay, if if you are okay with that, I can I can share the video first. Okay, and let's have that, the video. Uh, let's have the video first, and then I'll share your part. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So share screen. Yes. Um, in the we can video see your I'm screen, but it's not it's not the video yet. Yes, the video okay. it will, it will yes, be here. Coming. Uh, in the video, you can see what uh, kind of activities we did. It's not complete because it, it, it will take so much time. So I, I try to cut how, uh, how much I, I could. If, if there is a sound to the video, we cannot hear it, uh, either because you have not decided to share the sound or because it's in Romanian and maybe you will just give us your commentary. Uh, it's uh, just a song on the on the video. It's not. Uh, yeah, but. but we don't have voice. Okay, well it, that doesn't matter then. We because we can't hear the voice, but it doesn't. No, it's not that you have to you have to go back to your sharing screen and share share also the sound. But maybe it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the sound. It's it's okay. Here we can see how we uh, the leg did the, the research for uh, for the for the youths. First of all, here we already did some workshops. Uh, here was uh, we we went we went to go uh, to be Santa Claus for uh, youths who don't have uh, who don't have uh, access to to buy gifts in the Christmas or. We went with uh, with the kids from rural sides in the museums and uh, we did workshops with them. We organized Christmas markets, as you see, foresting. Cleaning ups. will listen always uh, their their own ideas and uh, we have uh, always after we finish um, activity we have some um, brainstorming let's say about the next activity what what they they would like to to prepare okay uh, everyone is hearing me Yes, we can hear you. We can. We cannot hear okay. your, your video, but we can hear you speaking. And in the video was you. just uh, was just uh, 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 music. Okay. It was not with. Uh, Thank you very time. much. You can stop sharing, and then I will put on your your PowerPoint. Yes, this is okay. So, let me. PowerPoint is here. It's and. I will make it. Sorry, I just need to go to the first slide. So okay. there you go. So as uh, as you as you see, I'm um, I'm Claudio Anko. I'm from Romania. I'm uh, I coordinate the rural youth parliament from uh, Lag Napoca Porolisum, and as my colleague says, we did uh, uh, and how you uh, as you see, we did already some uh, some activities, and. Uh, 
can you put the next slide, please? So you see what we uh, what did we do? What we will uh, will we do now? It uh, we have we have a project with uh, European Corps uh, Solidarity that five five youths from our uh, territory are involved already in that project. They uh, they propose the activities that uh, we will we will make with that uh, with that funds because we they they already are uh, excited about. Uh, uh, the fact that they can uh, they help can help in uh, their um, uh, to to develop their uh, their rural, rural sites. So they propose uh, to do like digi skills workshops for uh, for developing uh, their digital skills, gastronomical festival to promote the to promote the traditional food and uh, the traditions. Also, some sports festivals. So uh, we are so excited to to have this uh, to have this project. Now we will, we will start to implement the project in uh, one July, and it will be twelve months. Uh, each month we will have one activity. Uh, all activities will will be uh, made by the volunteers and the youths from rural sites. We have a group like uh, now, like uh, maybe 50, 50 youths from uh, our territory who are not involved all uh, in the same time, but we have at each activity minimum 25, 25 uh, youths who who are excited to to participate in the community. Um. The challenges? Do you want to, to uh, the challenges? Mention? The challenges. Uh, first of all, uh, in the beginning was the we didn't have experience. I didn't have experience uh, to work with the youths uh, very well, and also we didn't have money. I think the the uh, the hardest challenges was was uh, what my my colleagues did it. Until uh, until they uh, they find some youths who who would like to be involved in that so uh, in the project so from that five we can start to make something bigger with their excitement in the beginning we need we need to find uh, we cannot find twenty five from the beginning but if we have uh, five who are excited and they really want to do something, it uh, became easier after that. Okay, shall I move go on? Yes, please. I think it's um, the it's just one slide. Okay, yes. the the strategy, every every activity that I that we did, we, we use social network. To, to promote in short uh, reels and to to share our uh, excitement in uh, in social network and uh, with that we have uh, also more youths who who like to to came with us also the fun activities was uh, between youth used activity like greening or cleaning up uh, we need also fun activities with ice breaking as my colleague says and uh, i think the 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 principal uh, thing was the enthusiasm of the participants that we we uh, show up in uh, in our uh, videos okay so that's it thank you Okay, yes, thank, thank you, you very much. Okay, I stop sharing. Yes, are there any immediate questions or comments to Claudius' uh, presentation? We can go back to that later in the discussion. But if you want immediately to some to ask some clarification, yes, if not, then I will ask our next uh, contributor, who is Piotr Stitting from Poland. I understand you don't have a PowerPoint, but you also have an example or an experience you would like to share with us. 
Yes, it's an example. Uh, it's actually an initiative called Democracy Reloading. Uh, but first of all, my name is Piotr Styrzeń, and apart from being a member of local action group, I'm a member of the Youth Council in uh, my city. Uh, and I also work in an NGO uh, based on Erasmus Plus projects and basically working with, with youth and for youth. And uh, due to my work, uh, actually my boss came across because he's an expert now in democracy reloading and it is an initiative <laughs> by European Commission. Uh, and it's aiming to create the youth friendly municipalities with the higher level of uh, youth engagement in policy making. And uh, what's most important, uh, I have a few notes. Uh, this, uh, yes, the st stretch, Sorry, strategic program uh, from European Commission. Uh, and the main aim is successfully engaging youth in decision making processes in municipalities all over the Europe. Because the problem that we sometimes face is that even if the municipality and youth workers working there uh, are willing to engage youth, they sometimes don't know how to do it. And the outcome of this program is mainly in the toolkit that provides for them the this is the digital toolkit increase uh, aiming to increase the youth participation and knowledge for the youth workers uh, to have maybe more tangible thing that they can use uh, the toolkit that uh, provides them with information and experiences also the good, good practice sharing platform on how to how to increase the youth participation in their municipalities this is not uh, necessarily aimed to to the rural areas also also for the cities but it can be actually applied on any level of municipality uh, either local or regional and uh, the program itself identified the key competences of the municipality staff and workers uh, and the, the key competences and tasks are like three pillars are values and attitude knowledge and skills and I don't want to like uh, maybe talk too much and still still too too, man, too much time of the discussion uh, explaining the details of, of this program. Uh, I highly recommend you. Uh, I would just post the, the website. Address. I think it would be very useful if you could share yes the toolkit yeah, and, and all the yes, program. I, I, I the, would sh program share website. the website address. Uh, where you can just go to the website and if you find a, a tutorial. Uh, there it's uh, easy easy uh, very easy to to access and then you can see the video of how to uh, start with this program and how to use it if you need any more information uh, please contact me i can actually contact you with my uh, boss from the ngo who is actually an expert in this program uh, yes, and I think that's all the most important okay. information. I, I, I just only missed because you said there were three pillars of the building, so yes, the values the, and attitudes, knowledge and skills. And what is the third one? Uh, values and attitude is the first one. The second yes. one is knowledge and the third one is skills. Ah, okay. So this is like, I thought, okay, great. Thanks a Thank lot. You. And I think it's really very interesting to to have a look at the, at the website. Um, any further questions you would like to, to raise immediately with Piotr or, or uh, well, I, I'm sure you would want to explore more uh, on, on, on the website. Um, and then the last intervention to start our discussion is Irene, Irene Martin Garcia. Uh, yes. And you want to explain how your uh, uh, network of local development uh, is our rural development is, is supporting youth initiatives. Yeah, Over thank, to you. thank you. And hello, everyone. I'm Irene from the Spanish Network for Rural Development, the leader, uh, leader network. And for us, this promotion of youth friendly spaces are is a strategy. And during the last years, we have launched several several initiatives, mainly linked with uh, uh, men mentorship for entrepreneurship, for example, but also diagnosis networking between young people and, and advocacy. For example, we launched a course about entrepreneurship. Uh, all along with local action groups, because we think it's also a way for the young people to, to remain in rural areas and to participate also in other spaces. Uh, also, we organized uh, last year a national meeting where we gather uh, 100 people, more than 100 young 
people. And the meeting was related with the uh, crafts and design. Uh, the purpose was for them to, to put in common their projects. Uh, we have organized also several debates. One of them was uh, about young mayors. Uh, it's an interesting way also for them to remain in rural areas and to, to participate in, in these spaces. And we took part also in the youth delegation with uh, Pietro uh, last year uh, inside the ERP. And we shared the, the, the conclusions inside the European Commission, European Parliament. And uh, I think this is an important uh, activity of uh, advocacy. And as some suggestions, I had several of them, but maybe we can share it after in, inside the debate. Uh, first of all, it's that we uh, have to keep working in this uh, diagnosis, but with an act active listening to know the real needs and to offer adaptive solutions. But this has, of course, to be linked with the participation, with listening and participation for the young people, for us to take part in these decision-making processes and to offer solutions by young people for young people. And also, uh, it's impossible not to mention for us <laughs> uh, the, the importance of the local action groups also for, for this participation of young people in rural areas, since they work with the bottom-up approach and uh, because they uh, create a lot of spaces for participation, for example, for the creation of the local strategies that uh, they do at the beginning of every programming uh, period. And at this point, of course, it's also important to think about new ways of uh, um, getting in, in touch with uh, young people, more informal ways. For example, if we are in the process of creating the strategies, uh, maybe it's it will be impossible to gather 15 uh, young people in a round table to talk uh, about uh, the strategy, but maybe we can go to their association and to ask directly some questions about what are the thoughts and what, what do they think about the, the future of, of their territory. So I, I have some more ideas, but maybe we can uh, speak all together about it after during the debate. So thank you for this space. Mm -hmm.